Welcome back everyone uh, in the studio again today working on this piece that I had started um, still using the same palette and uh, when we left off last I had put a, a little bit of a pattern with a stencil by scraping through and leaving a few bits of that for some interesting texture and we'll see how we can work that in a little bit. Um, as this sets up you can go over it and tone it back. It's still a little wet but, uh, you know to sort of disguise it just a bit so it doesn't stand out a lot from the painting. You can also use your fingers to blend edges. And when you pull through the stencil, it's almost, um, it leaves you almost an embossed feel. There again, small touches, little touches to make a change and start fine-tuning the painting. I don't want that to be glaring, but I do like a touch of it in certain pieces. I do like using the color shapers to enhance certain areas, have a little more control. This is a mix, once again, of the Titanium and the Warm White by Gamblin. Another fun um, way to make texture is using um, the cup holders when you buy your coffees and hot drinks. They, if you open them up, they have wonderful corrugated cardboard on the inside and it makes some, some very nice lines. Just to add a little texture, cross hatch. It's fun to do. A 
lots of interesting ways to make marks. Always be on the lookout for interesting things for texture. Part of the fun of painting in oil and coal wax, or any type of painting, is to look for things that will make the painting stand out and be a little different in your mark making. Always remember to allow yourself the ability to just play. Bring some interesting pops of color in. This is floating paint on top with the back of my palette knife. Soul, Sava.
just moving that color around. I want it to blend into this white shape just a bit. <clears throat> Where the paint is still very wet here, I'm lifting this back out somewhat. you play with it the more it changes and so you can continue to add layers take layers away add texture and just see you know um, where the piece takes you
mark making. And as this stage dries more and more, the painting dries more and more, you can come back on top of this piece and add some mark making with the Caran d'Ache crayons or the Marabou art, uh, art crayons which are a lot of fun to use and we will do that once this piece has set up to dry just a little bit more. So I think I will stop for now on this piece and we'll continue later. Thanks everyone. Welcome back everyone. I'm going to pick up on this painting. Uh, I've let it set up for a little while and I, I feel like I'm almost to the finishing point on this piece and I wanted to do a little bit of mark making and a product that I am really enjoying using and Marabou Art Crayons they are a mixed media art crayon that they are highly pigmented, water soluble, but they are very smooth and creamy. They've got uh, sort of like the R&F oil pigment sticks. They have a very uh, lipstick quality about them and they are gorgeous to do mark making with on your oil and coal wax paintings as they're reaching a more dry to semi-dry stage. So uh, for some finishing touches, I enjoy using these. And they come in several different sets of colors. Um, so be sure that you look up Marabou Art Crayons. The wonderful thing about them uh, is that they dry within 24 to 48 hours. They will set up and they are a wonderful addition I have found to my oil and coal wax pieces. So in looking at this piece, um, I'm going to use a little bit of the Marabou just to enhance certain areas. They are blendable while they are wet and if you were to wet them with um, solvent or if you dropped water on them it does reactivate but we're not going to put any water on our oil and cold wax paintings but it just brings a nice beautiful color up. Adding some acemic writing into this piece. just have a very creamy feel to them and I really like the addition of that mark making um, you can also go in with the white they're just little small areas that you might want to touch up I also use these another way that I use them is if you have a little nick or ding, which oil and cold wax are very prone to have, if you bump them or set something against them, they uh, even when the paint is dry, they can scratch. But I have started using these and have been using it for a while as a touch-up. So this little edge here is a very dark, so I'm coming in with this dark marabou mixed media art crayon 
just to touch that up and that will be set up and dry within 24 to 48 hours. So that, that is a great reason to have Marabou art crayons on hand. So in looking at this piece, and I'm not sure, you know, the camera I guess is seeing it upside down to the way I'm seeing it, but this is sort of how I am looking at the piece as a finish. And so I, I kind of want to emphasize maybe a couple of little areas with the paint mixed with wax. I'm going to add a touch of this in here. Wanted to warm that area up just a little bit. remember that in the finishing you're looking usually at just small touches to complete the painting. And I have used the same palette on this piece and the piece before. So I've I feel like I have gotten a lot of time out of this palette and they're my favorite colors that I enjoy working with. And I, I have this color here and it had been up here I think at one point in time but through the painting <clears throat> excuse me, you tend to work things over and those colors sometimes disappear. Just like the stenciling that I did, I ended up and covered pretty much all of it. You can still see a little bit of it here and there, but these paintings have to be open to change. Every time we touch them, they change. So, I think this piece is ready to call a finish. And I thank you so much for joining me in this video series. I want to show you both pieces together. I think I'm going to add one more thing before I end it. I like it because I did it in the other piece. I sort of would like to put a really strong pop of red. This is a cad red light. just as a little bit of an accent. There's some of the, the red mark making in here. But just as an accent. It's an orangey red. So, I think I like that. And I will end this piece and show you both pieces together. I hope you've enjoyed this series and my YouTube videos. And if you enjoy my channel and the videos that I am making, I hope you will subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you, everyone.